Today we are going to be cleaning this Jeep up. It's very disgusting. I already took all the seats out in the center console. It's pretty self-explanatory how to do that. The back seat, there's four bolts along the front of them. Then there's four bolts underneath. They're kind of a pain to get to. There's two nuts and one bolt behind them. Then over there. The front seats, there's four bolts on both of them. And there's also electrical connectors, so make sure you undo that before you pull them up out. Here's the driver one. Then here's the passenger one. Center console, there was four bolts, they're Torx bits. Actually, I'll show you on the console. Right here, and right there, both sides. And the shifter knobs, they were a pain. As you can see, there's no set screw or anything. It's just kind of a, a flat spot on the shaft. I just wiggled them back and forth a little bit as I was pulling up and they came right off. I took the dash apart because the USB cable sticking up and didn't allow the dash to sit all the way back. So I'm going to fix that properly. The main reason I took the center console out is because my four-wheel drive wasn't working. I thought maybe the linkage came off. But it all looks good under here. So it must be underneath the Jeep. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get everything swept up and then I'm gonna shampoo the carpets and get everything wiped down. So I got all the carpet swept for the most part. It's not perfect, but next time we'll shampoo it so it'll get the rest of the stuff up. Definitely looks a lot better already. So I'm hoping all these stains and stuff will come up when I shampoo it. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to shampooing now. All right, so I'm gonna be using the shampoo is 
some degreaser, a house shampooer with a hose on it, and a drill with a brush. So the first thing I'm gonna do is spray the section down I'm gonna do with water, then spray some degreaser on it. I'm spraying degreaser first so you guys can hear what I'm doing. Then let that sit for a second or two, then I'm gonna take the brush and go through and scrub it. Then I'm gonna suck it back up with the shampooer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and set you guys up, do a little time lapse. I may have gotten a little carried away with the water, but it's all right, we'll get all sucked up. It is very messy, so I recommend if you can take your seats out, I would definitely do it so you're not flinging stuff everywhere. I plan on taking the carpet out when I'm done and clean all the plastic and put the carpet back. All right, so that one floorboard is done. I you see it looks a thousand times better. I had to take this plastic trim off now because there was a mud line that I couldn't get to, but it's all taken care of. As you can see the difference in the, how dark and nice and black this looks compared to what it looked like under the seat. So the floorboard was a lot worse. That's the driver's side. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this section so this way, as I'm doing the other carpets, it's not flinging all over the fresh clean carpet. Like I said, it does get very messy. Then I plan on cleaning the all the metal surfaces after all the carpets are out. And I may put some bed liner down or something. Possibly. This drain hole here is starting to rust around the edges. And it'll help with sound. You don't hear so much road noise and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my way on back and around. And you guys will be following along.
So it's actually the next day. Yesterday the memory card got full on the camera, but I decided to keep going. So we got the carpet all shampooed, swept. Well, you guys saw me sweep. Got the seats all done. Took the covers off the roll bars and washed those. And then the floors got scrubbed. Somebody decided to put a patch panel over top of that floorboard there. And it don't look very good, so that needs to be done sometime. This drain hole here is starting to rust. So, I was going to put a bed liner down, but I'm just going to wait until I fix those problems first. Uh, the plastic pieces are good down here on the below the door. Those got scrubbed over there and rinsed off. So, I think it's ready to put back together. I was gonna do that earlier, but you didn't. Nope. Slacker. Now what are you doing? I figure while all the carpets and stuff are out, I'm gonna go ahead and run the wire for the back of the camera. So right underneath the Jeep. So I'm gonna run on this side here and up into the dash. Quick. I'm gonna fix that USB port. 
that's a lot. That's a little short. Except why is that up top? That hole. Might be wrong. <laughs> Threads burning new threads. Huh. That was fast. <laughs> the, end the, the end of the bolts where I stick to the body were rusty. So as I pulled them out, I probably fucked the threads up. I got the radio installed. I had to hook up the parking brake wire. That green wire right there. It tells the radio that you're sitting still basically. So you can control the radio. It's supposed to go to this wire on the parking brake. But I want to be able to control it while I'm driving too. So I just grounded it out. Then I ran my USB cable down. I'm going to get some kind of adapter thing. So I can put it somewhere around here. Maybe this panel goes down here. But for now, I'm just it's poking out down here somewhere around the shifter or something. So that's all hooked up. I got the backup camera hooked up now. And that's about it. I'm about to put the center console in, then the front seats. I wasn't going for a drive. These screws knocked the linkage off. <laughs> the same size they used in the house? Yeah. <laughs> Even wipe it off? Yeah, just not my hands. Looks like it. Ah. Oh, I was about ready to say, don't side yourself with that screw. <laughs> I went deep. Talk about camera position. Okay, put it in your tripod and just have it be in one spot the whole time. Shut up. 
Hey, I learned my lesson. I got your balls. Oh. You're gonna make it hard for Dylan. <laughs> you don't have to throw a little shit out. Just mute it. That's where it is. I mean, you're gonna put it together or are we just gonna waste more time? Wow. Sleep and wipe down. I think we're good. Gotta put its clothes back on. Yeah. And you gotta put the handles back on. Yeah. That's all about to do. <laughs> it's time to make it less sexy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> percent of this words get cut out anyways. But not these ones. Maybe. All right, it's all cleaned up. Turned out pretty good. Still ain't perfect. The all the plastic trim is gonna need going back over. They're pretty faded. The door jams are definitely gonna need done. I also need some clips or the pen push little push pen things. So if you guys know where you find those at. If you wouldn't mind, put those down in the comments. About every one of them broke. The doors got cleaned up pretty good. I did get the radio hooked up right. So now it don't, I was gonna message saying, please apply parking brake or put your vehicle in park, which it's a manual. So that wasn't gonna work, the park thing. They didn't have the wire hooked up to the parking brake. So I just ran it to the ground and so now it always thinks the parking brake's set. So I can use it while I'm driving. Then I also hooked up a backup camera, ran the wire to the back. I haven't hooked the I haven't mounted the camera itself yet. But it does work. Uh, the windows still need done up here on the outside of the seals but the inside of the window, if that makes any sense. Gotta do the floor mats. I ain't really getting good videos of before. I kinda got in a rush on cleaning it. But they were pretty stained up and it was pretty disgusting. I still haven't found out what this vent right here is for. I like how this carpet here it's folded over it don't seem like it's fitted right like it's been something laid on top of it if you guys have any tips and tricks on how to get creases out of carpet let me know i got that spot and then the front floorboard don't quite fit right i still gotta clean the windows too 
but I'll do that after I wash it. And how good these light seats are going to be with me being all greasy and dirty all the time. Might find some nice seat covers. It had some on it when I got it, but they're cheap looking and didn't fit quite right. I hate seat covers. I need to get some floor mats. The ones I got are the Walmart special rubber ones. I ain't big on the rubber ones. They might be more useful. They protect your carpet more, but I feel like they never get clean enough. So you touch it with your foot, there's always a footprint. So the carpet ones, I feel clean up pretty nice and stay cleaner longer. Uh, just my personal preference. You see how much the interior is all faded. So I'm gonna try to bring all that to, back to life. Yeah, it came pretty clean for what it was. It was pretty disgusting. As you can see, I had the seats out of it and I didn't quite clean the the seat brackets here where the bolts go. They're terrible still. Kind of slipped my mind when they were sitting on the floor didn't quite see them. But that's about it. That kind of wraps up this video on detailing the Jeep. Like I said, it needs a little bit more, but it's just basic stuff, clean the windows and trying to get these seals clean. I'll do a quick video on washing it sometime. So that kind of wraps up this video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment down below any tips, tricks that you know of. Oh yeah. Speaking of that, see this carpet right here? It kind of humps out. Then back in here, this thing won't stay flipped up. So if you guys got any ideas on how to fix that, let me know. Okay, back to all saying. If you guys like the video, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment down below any tips and tricks. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for any further videos of the Jeep. I plan on having a lot more. We're going to diagnose the check engine light and give a good washing. And I plan on buying some mods for it. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Have a good one.